Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hukalo TV, located at www.humancolony.org. Today's date is um, July 25th, 2015. A couple of changes to the announcements of the events. The events can be found at the Hukalo website at uh, humancolony.org, on the Google Plus site, and the chat boxes that are available on Google Plus. So you can find the events in several places. Um, I'd like to uh, say that you can book sessions with Jim. His rates are $90 for one hour, $68 for 45 minutes, and $45 for 30 minutes. If for some reason you need to make special arrangements, uh, please contact Jim for uh, those kinds of things. You guys can work something out. Uh, the humancolony.org operates on donations, so please go to humancolony.org. If you're able to donate, please do. And I will pass it over to Sabrina. Sabrina, what have you got for us today? Uh, well, thank you for that, Dan. Um, welcome, everybody. Today we have Elena, Dan, of course Jim, Johannes, Karen, Brox, Maria, Sheer, Sharon, In the corner. and of course myself. And with Jim, I know there's Joe, but I don't know who else is there. Oh, here today I have Joe from Pennsylvania, I have Sandy, and I have Barbara. Uh, a lot of people were on vacation this week, so I only have three here today, but that is cool. I, it's quality over quantity. Yes. So <laughs> and I will say, welcome back, Jim. Thank you. I had a wonderful weekend last weekend, and we're, I forgot to plug in my speakers, so uh, they're going, where's the speakers? So um, anyway, it was a wonderful weekend last weekend. I had a great time. It was good to have a couple of uh, third dimensional days where I was just grounded completely. So, um, that's good. Yes, because yes. I live in I live a lot in the fourth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But but um, I learn I'm learning to uh, I I just love the third dimension though I, I I enjoy it so much you have no idea but um, it's a wonderful thing. I just want to ask everybody uh, if there's anybody that they want to to uh, me to channel. I know Takur is coming for a short period of time to update people on some stuff. Uh, Barbara, you had somebody. Puto. Puto. Because we just kind of put going out so they're right now the pictures and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And she requested somebody from Pluto or something yeah, or anybody that knows anything about that. Anybody else? Um, somebody from Mars would be interesting. Oh, the Mars people? Mm. Um, Remlek or uh, King Solomon, one of the Ascendant Masters. How okay. about Elohim? Elohim, okay. If possible, some Yael. Someone from Yael? Or who? Was there a name? No specific name, I just... some Yael. Okay, uh, a Yigel person? Yeah, we haven't talked to a Yigel for a while, have we? <clears throat> or um, her name maybe could be Telarka. Telarka maybe. If, if possible, I think Telarka. Yes, very good. Telarka. Telarka. Alrighty, anybody else? Because we'll give it a full range so that they can come get lined up there. <laughs> yeah, a, a Fondorian would be good to tell us a little bit about oh. them joining Gurfnir. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you. That's a good idea. Fondorian. Elohim. And they said Elohim, yeah. They, Elohim has been requested twice now. Jim, if there's any um, any energies from that planet that's at our sister planet, that uh, R, whatever it is, the one they just discovered, if there's oh. any intelligent energy there. Oh, our sister planet. Where is what part of the sky is that in? Do you know? It's can someone help me? The one that they just gave the news conference about. 
I don't know where it's at in the sky, but I know it's uh, in, in, a, in a solar system that you know, rotates the same path as Earth and it can sustain life and it looks like it's like a total Earth larger, 1.6 1, 1. times larger than Earth. Um, okay, so may, maybe that's enough vibration to connect to it. You know? it's ca we're calling it Kepler 45 yeah, Kepler 45. 40, Kepler 45, and it's in the constellation Cygnus, C Y G U S. Oh, there you go. US. I found it. I Googled while you were talking. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Cygnus. Yeah. So I don't so know if they, know I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know if they're more advanced, or maybe they're on the same level, or slightly below, slightly above. If there's anybody even there, but I'm sure whomever's watching that planet might be able to. Uh, yeah. You know, well, if they're below, in. the chances of channeling might be less. Yes, okay. yes. Francine but is now here. Mm, I, I love you. Haircut. Love you too. Okay. Thank you. Francine is now here also. We'll just give it a go. Hi, Francine. Hi. Hi, Francine. She's going to sit beside me. Hello, Francine. Hi, hello. I'm going to ground him today. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Ground him, even though right. he seems pretty grounded, actually. He seems okay. pretty grounded. All right, I'll just so give the, him energy, a little boost. Excellent. Uh, so it's they're from Cygnus. If I wonder if they, uh, if there's anybody there that will be able to channel or understand where we're coming from, if they're in a lower realm of understanding. So we'll we'll give that a shot too. Yeah, great. Thank you. This is Joe. Joe, this is Francine. Sorry, introductions. Um, well, maybe if there's anybody, but if there's not, then that's also valid too. So. Okay. Did you want to request any particular person to come through? No, I'm just here to enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, if that's it, I will uh, see you all later. Any questions? Any comments before I go away for a bit? No, I think that's it, Jim, for now. Okay. Oh, we do have 20 viewers, so I want to do a shout out to all the viewers. Okay. Um, and they can ask questions too. And thank you all for being here. It really, I really enjoy seeing you. And um, this is a very wonderful time for me. The energy in the room today is really nice, isn't it? It's very calm and beautiful. It feels uh, very special today. So I don't know who's coming, but. Um, we will ask whoever is wanting to come. I know for sure Takur is going to come first and give a couple little updates on a, a couple things. So, will we be able to ask a question? Sure. I don't know if she's just Yeah, she won't be here for long. Not like the last time, but she just wanted to give a couple. Uh, Sabrina said there's a few questions, and she already knew that she was going to be coming for those updates. So. Or just ask. Okay, just ask whenever you're gonna. We didn't set up the keyboard today for typing in questions, so the people in the room will just ask today their questions. They'll come over, and I'll uh, hopefully get close enough to the microphone that you can ask. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's the only thing. Just make sure that they get close enough, or speak okay. loud enough so we can hear them. Okay, excellent. Um, so, all right. Very good. Have a great time, and I will see you in a little bit. I'll do some meditation. So talk to you soon. Okay, Jim.
Yeah. I'm Tucker. Hello. Hello, Tucker. Hello, Tucker. Much love. Thank you very much. Welcome I know that there are some questions today, so that is why I came to do a, a short update. So, if Sabrina, you have the questions there, is that correct? Yes. So ask me those few questions. I believe there are some questions in this room as well. Yes. Okay. Continue. So the first one is from Carla Rinaldi. Yeah. Or e. Um. She wanted to know if you had any messages regarding her family, spiritual encounter, and careers. Her family spiritual encounter? I do not... Just a moment. Your what is your counter what? They are influenced by some positive energy. It is good. Yes, they're in, they are experiencing some goodness right now. The energy that is there is now positive. There has been some changes. And the future for your career is also changing in some way. I am not sure. I, I cannot connect that well right now from this distance but there is some changes going on but the the spiritual aspect is what is most interesting is that there has been some changes in the contact in the family and things have changed for the better one moment That is all I can see right now. Continue. Okay. Uh, next one is from Sage. Um, he wanted to know if you had any messages or advice for him. And did he have any past lives in the Pleiades? Yes, he did have a past life in the Pleiades. I can see that right now just from his name and that he has brought along some of that energy behind the heart chakra and the sacral chakra. So there are some past lives in his um, present, actually. There are some things that are working in his present from these past lives, and that is why he's asking. Because sometimes he does not feel like he fits into third dimension as well. However, <clears throat> his grounding is... Um, he needs to be a little more grounded. He needs to be a little bit more um, earthbound. His thoughts processes are in the thir fourth dimension, and he cannot bring that information back very well. However, he's doing well, and he's feeling his alien past lives more right now. And they have a message for you. He does have a star seed in the Pleiades that is helping him right now. So, and the message that is for him is that he must, to, to understand what he's going through right now, there is a thing that he is going through that he's not quite connected to, but it is important and that they would like to speak to him and tell him that he needs to be grounded, pull himself up through so that they can give him a message. They will not give it to me because they, it is personal. Okay. But his heart and sacral chakras are very much bright with uh, these Theadian energies. Um, the other thing was that he had told me that lately he wasn't having as many experiences as he used to. Yes. Um, that is all right. They come and they go because of time, well, not time as you know it, but distance and things of other natures, responsibilities that have to be done. You cannot expect to be visited constantly and have messages constantly. It do, they do leave you into a, a state of fourth dimension sometimes and you need to ground after that period. This is your time of understanding what was learned and grounding. 
Okay. Um, now let me see. Now it's lava. Ah, um, lovely. Yes. Um, he said if you have any news from his real child, Targa or Anna, <laughs> or anything and Anna. Yeah. that I need to know. Anna is doing well. She is with you. She learns from you at times. They are allowing her to come and witness some things that you do on your computer. Uh, not always, but occasionally, if you are doing something different, she will learn your fourth, third dimensional equipment because she will be working with it someday as well. The equipment and technology that she is working with is it more advanced, but she wants to learn what you are doing with your equipment as well. Okay, and he had a message for her. He said, I'm so happy to know that you will live on Earth. I hope to see you soon and to be with you. Um, Tucker said that you are a wonderful child and I can see your beautiful smile inside of me. Hope you yeah. enjoy places, I guess the place where you live and I just would like to, uh, for you, I just would like that for you to know that uh, I'm together with you in your heart and will be always. Wonderful. Um, he also wanted to know, he said it's been a, a while since he asked about DNA infusions. So he's very interested if any of his DNA infusions um, were completed and if it's possible, yeah. can you please give the percentages? He would like to receive uh, Arturian DNA. Yes. There that all, would be them, all the ones that have been given have been complete at this time. The percentages are 6% across the board with his, his infusions. And which one did he say he wanted? Arturian. 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 That will be one moment. Juwaka. Kararandi Shutuwati. They are saying that Octorian will start by next Thursday. Okay. Now I have a question from Liney. Sabrina? Hmm? I'm sorry. Since we're on DNA, can I just ask a question about mine? I was just curious. Sure, sure. Okay. Takur, I was just wondering about my uh, DNA, whether or not the infusion I had gotten, but whether it was activated where I'm at, if the learning has come in yet and how would I know? You will not know about the infusion because usually you don't feel much with the infusion. The activation is when you start feeling things. The activation has begun but it is only at 1.5 percent out of seven. They're going to give you seven percent. They feel that there are certain things that you can use from the Lear and that will be very helpful to you. So it will help increase body mass slightly but they have manipulated the DNA to be more suited for communication, clarity of mind and IQ and emotional IQ uplifting. Okay. So therefore it has started to activate. You will start to feel more excited about some things. Your clarity of mind will increase. You will feel like being more social at times. For you that is an unusual Liren. That's not usually what Liren DNA does for a person, but in your case it will help with that. Your socialization, you do a lot of socialization but you'll feel more like doing it. There are some times when you feel like it is more of a drudgery or a task, but now you'll feel more like it is something you really want to do. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina. You're welcome. Anybody else have any more questions in the room with Jim? Yes, Barbara, come here. I've seen you many times. How are you? I'm good. How about you? But anyway, I have a question regarding, um, am I still visiting the colony just recently? One moment and I will find out. Your last visit to the colonies was Gigawa Kishantita Potawa. Yakata. Last visit to the colonies was July 12th. Yes. I just wondered because of a dream that I had. 
Yes. And also, I asked for some infusions. Are those going to be able to be infused or yes. DNA? One at a time, they will be done. But I do not have the list of them right now. Okay. But um, I believe you asked for Lirin also. Yeah. And um, I believe that's the one that has started because you need the body mass. So. My daughter, how's <clears> she doing, Kenza? She is doing wonderful. Mm -hmm. She has actually grown quite a bit in her fourth dimensional energy as of the last three or four months. Her energies have increased and I can tell that she is going to be a channeler and some have very much, she already is a telepath of course and an empath, but she is going to have some psychic energies as well. And how much has she grown? She is now about 2.2 2 feet and 7 inches tall. All right, love her. I will. Thank you. Yikawata. Okay. Um, Hello, Tucker. Yes. It's Hello. Elena. How are you? Very, very well. How are you, my dear? Good. I'm well as well. Can you update me on my current status at the colonies and yes, my next is. infusion? Yes. You're, you are still a teacher on Colony 2, but you also visit colony one quite a bit. Uh, your channeling abilities have increased and so you went to uh, colony four. So you've been many times to the colonies because you are a teacher there in uh, dietary and exercise. You do, you have a multiple, multiple uh, different things that you do for the humans on the colony as far as health and welfare and uh, exercise, diet, and uh, teaching them what things are good for them. And actually you use technology from the colonies to let them know exactly what vitamins they need and things of this nature. You are much a great help to many who are overweight and who are needing a better diet. So thank you very much for that. And plus, yes, you do have hybridization that is working in you and it is al already finished. It has been finished for a while now. So, um, do you feel any differences? Yes. I thought you did. Um, your teaching has been very much more individualized recently when you come to the colonies. You spend more time with the individuals and we find that to be very helpful because you, you take a five minute period to spend with each person uh, or more, five, five to ten minutes actually, and let them know exactly what they need and what they should do, do be doing for their health. And I find that to be very refreshing that you know exactly how to deal with each one. Thank you for that part of your empathy because you, you can actually on the colonies when the fourth dimensional energy is strong, you are able to be very intuitive with them and know exactly what they need. And we find this very helpful. And that is why you come a little bit more often than other people. Thank you. Thank you as well. Much love. Much love to you. You are welcome. Um, Tucker, Liney wanted to know um, about the meeting. Um, oh, the meeting with the politicians of the earth. Yes. It has not happened yet. There's too many financial problems going on on your planet right now and they are involved heavily in trying to figure how the best way to pull out of this dilemma is. And so they postponed our meeting thinking that it is not a priority at this time. However, they promised that with before September we would meet again. But the financial difficulties that they are having are very dire. And so we know about these things and have understood why they have canceled and postponed three or four times now. <clears throat> okay. Um, interesting you say that. I, I have had several dreams with... Uh, the president and the first lady. Yes. <clears throat> you were an advisor at the council. You have been to the council many times and sometimes you meet in spirit with the president and the first lady, Hillary Clinton and a couple others. 
Okay. Yeah, because I had it once recently. Um, uh, can you also tell me how Leonardo is doing? How who is doing? My hybrid child. Oh, uh, yeah. Your hybrid child is fine. Okay. And you are doing well. You have visited them one time. Okay. Um, uh, Jasmine also wanted to know if you had a message uh, for her. Who is this? Jasmina. Ah, oh, Jasmina. One moment. Let me connect. Yakwata, Sansan Shombo, go to water. Tariandata Soto. Ah, Jasmina. Thank you for your efforts. One moment. Third dimension is really strong with you right now. Um, your fourth dimensional energy G is also strong, but it seems like there is much pulling you into the four third dimension right now. And it's actually activating fourth dimensional energy in a very strange way. Uh, you're pulling up from the ground. You are grounded and you're pulling down, but that energy is not reaching you at this time because uh, there is a lot of different emotions going on with you and so therefore just uh, calm yourself as much as possible and reach up and the fourth dimensional energy will help you to calm and understand how to deal with some of these things that are happening. It's not necessarily all bad. Okay. Thank you to Kurt. Maria? Good. Hello to Kurt. Yes. Much love. Much love. I have a question about, um, uh, I asked for several infusion, DNA yes. infusion, and I want to know how, which ones I got and how much, or if they are activated at all. Yes, you have gotten, one moment please. Yes, you asked for several different ones. They started with the Pleiadian, and it, it is activated at 6%. Now, the Pleiadian has the least amount of effect on humans at times. In your case, that is the, uh, you do feel somewhat different. It will affect your communicative skills and your emotional IQ, which means that you will understand spirituality a little better, emotions a little better, and how people are dealing with you. Remember, however, that whenever someone puts anything negative on you, it is their problem and not yours. Do not let them hurt you because your positivity is not part of that. Do you understand that? Yeah, but it's hard. I know. <laughs> I know. There are people putting negative things on you right now, and, and you do not have to accept those. I'm just letting you know that. Thank they, you. They are not for you to accept because look at them with their unconditional love and all you can see is the good in them. But if you look into their brain, you will see their problems are their problems and they're trying to put them on you, but that is not what you should accept, okay? Yes. Please be pure and do not accept these problems and tell them that you love them anyway and that you will pray for them and that you understand that this is that they are trying to even help but they are putting on negativity on you and it is not a good thing you do not have to accept it and reject it and just bring out the love within yourself and do not accept this and if you have accepted some of it which you have <laughs> please let that drain out of you through mother earth through mother, ask her to take that negativity away from you and ask her to re rework that into a positive energy and move it back up because you're accepting these things and bringing it in your, to yourself and they are not for you to accept. They are not true. Are they not true? They're not true, are they? No. Well, then do not accept them. Okay. 
So beside Pleiadian, I didn't get anything else. I thought they I got have, Arcturian. Yes, they have. Yeah, they have started Arcturian. Uh, well, you had already the Arcturian, did you not? Yes. Yes. The uh, they had started the Lyran. I'm sorry. Yeah. They have started the Lyran. It is only infused up to four percent. You are getting six percent. It is not activated yet, but it's being infused now at four. It is up to four percent. And Yael? It's not started yet. No, and Elohim has not started yet. Elohim must will be the last one, and it will have to be. They have given permission for it, but they must see how all the other activations go before they will bring it into your body, because they will look at how everything is moving together and how the how uh, they are activated and what yes. feelings that you are getting and then the Elohim will be the very last one but they must study you before they will do it because they are not part of Gurk Viknir and they are on their own when it comes to giving DNA and they are they are a special DNA that is only given to those that can handle it or those that they find that they will want to give to so then you will be, you, they have already approved you to some extent, but they do want to make sure that everything is fine after all the other infusions. Yes, and I already feel them and they're communicating with me. They are communicating, yes. Much love, Ticker. I Much love Much love. I love you as well. Please don't accept these negative things into you because you do not need that. It is Fear, and let me give you a very, very small message that many, many need right now. Okay. Fear and doubt, fear and doubt and acceptance of these kind of negative energies. Stop yeah. progress, stop progress, stop progress. Fear and doubt, the biggest destroyers of success that there is, biggest destroyer of success. Because if you fear and doubt, you, you do not step into, you don't take chances, you don't follow through. Because you say, oh, that's never going to happen, that's never going to be that, that's never going to, I, I'm never, 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 never. And y y these are negative words, and you cannot use them. Because fear and doubt destroy those things that are, should come to you even faster because of your belief systems, they should come quickly. Yes. But, but yes. fear and doubt, which you have much of right now. Okay. Do not, yes. Do not accept it. Get rid of that. Does that help? Does is it if I if I work on myself, is that going to help me to move through with my life situation? Actual everything. Fear and doubt. Okay. If you bring fear and doubt, it blocks all the wonderful good things. There are some things that are part of your contract, of course, that will come through. However, fear and doubt will bro block all the wonderful extras, the prosperity, the jobs, the things like this that are beautiful and wonderful, the joy, the happiness, the wisdom, the things of spirit that want to come through. They cannot... This is your, your intent is to keep this fear and good you may not intend it but it becomes an intent when you keep it going Do you understand that you yes. may say oh my intent is not to have fear or doubt but yet you keep it going and so therefore it becomes part of who you are and nothing can break through that that is extra the spirituality the growth the prosperity blocked by these things. You must understand that. Namaste. Namaste. I must go now. There are others that need to come through. Okay, Tukur. Thank you. Much love, Tukur. Much love to you, Tukur. Much love. And namaste. Namaste. Ah. Oh. Yawata, Wuha. Mm -hmm. 
I am Vishyama. Welcome, Vishyama. I am from the planet Threi. The twin of Earth as you speak of it. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> it is good to speak to you. I would not call you a neighbor, but I would call you an energy that we do feel. We are more advanced than you, but not by that much. Only by a hundred or a hundred and twenty so years. But that is quite a bit of technology that you do not have. Are there questions for you? Let me tell first before I answer questions. Let me tell you about our Threea, Three, however you would want to pronounce it. T H R A E. It is a plant of mostly water, like yours. The creatures of the sea are species that are numerous. But there is one species in our oceans, as you call them, that is sentient and intelligent, and we do speak to them. They are from a form of the dolphin and whale species that you have on your planet as well. They do speak a trinary language, which is difficult to interpret. However, we have learned to break through and speak to these creatures, and they are very wise. They are now teaching us technology from... Andromeda and Pleiadia because that is where their council is. We also have many cities like your planet. We also have many millions and billions of people. I do not know the words to use for how many people there are on our planet, but it's a much larger planet and therefore we are larger creatures than you. But we look fairly human in some respects, except for the gills. We do have amphibious qualities because we felt, I guess, as evolution moved forward that we should maintain a close relationship with the oceans and waters and therefore we are amphibious. I do not know what else to tell you about us at this time but if you ask questions I could maybe answer them. I can ask one question. How old do you get? What is the average uh, age on your planet? It is slightly longer than your planet because our rotation and years are also slower in some ways. Not much slower, but slightly. So we live to be about 120 years, as you would call them. We call them Anoyas. We live 120 Anoyas, Kashas, in some language, yes. Can you describe your appearance? Our appearance is we do have human kinds of features and 
physiology except for the brain is slightly different in its makeup. It is triply divided instead of once divided. The reason for this is that they are divided by physiology, emotion, and spirit. We do not know how that came about except that the early part of our existence we became immediately understanding of spirit and were greatly influenced by it. We were not seeded quite like your planet. We did have a more natural evolution. However, there was some influence by alien processes which helped us to become more humanoid looking, I am sure. We do have skin. It is similar in colors. Hair. Yes, we have hair, but it is different because of the tribe brain separation. It looks a little different. It does not fall the same directions. Do you have rituals? Do we have what? If you are having rituals on your planet, any kind of rituals? Of course. From the very early times when spirituality was very strong because that is the only thing that kept the fear from us. There was many large predators on our planet like on your planet except we existed at the same time with them. And so the fear of them was great, but spirit kept them from us in some ways. And Karen? Yes, the rituals were deeply found in and passed on. Some of them are water rituals. We go into the ocean because that is the safest place for us. I believe that's probably why we remained amphibious is most of our populations are on the coastlines and that if there is any large species that wants to attack they must come to the cities and they do not do this. We have barriers and we have things that keep them away but we can go into the oceans or waters to escape from many of them. There is so much to tell but I cannot tell everything now. Did I answer that question? My thoughts were divided from spirituality to emotions. That is a different part of the brain. Yes, that was very good. Thank you. Vishyama, hi. I'm Karen. It's very nice to meet you. Karen, very nice very. to meet you as well. Uh, so are you are these these creatures that are that you're protecting yourselves from would they be the equivalent of dinosaurs for us are they that sort of large or yes some of them would be considered your dinosaurs or carnivore type creatures we have given them a large space on in the centers of the continent where they can be on their own and live with this other species of their kind. We do not communicate in the way that we communicate with those from the sea and oceans, but they are intelligent and they do have their ways. However, we are not friendly in the sense that we would be close because they find us Delicious. I thought what I was going to say. <laughs> so on a technological basis, you're about a hundred years in front of us. Are you, 
are you aware of us as a as a planet or are we still unknown to you? And you are you are, traveling in this and are you traveling in space at this point? We are traveling in space. You have just become part of our awareness within the last twelve of your years and you uh We have not visited your planet as of yet, but we are studying it from a distance. We find that you would pro your air would probably be slightly thin for us, since our atmosphere is a little more dense. However, we, it is possible we could live there for a short period of time with some there is not a word how are your resources do you have enough our resources are plenteous because the plant in it is much larger so it has much more to offer it is it offers things much deeper than your planet the crust of our planet is several hundred miles considered and yours is not. What about your government? Our government is slightly different than yours as well, but there is politics as it is seen on your planet in some ways. However, dealing with multi-species such as this, the animals under the ocean and the species that are in the center of the continents, our governments must be attuned to all different thought processes. And so, therefore, some forms of telepathy are being engaged, some forms of translations and understandings above beyond your technology have been involved but government is not quite as hostile and primitive as yours we have moved into a more peaceful development however i must say that there are still disagreements and still times of hostility even on our world there is not a monetary system the same as yours but there is an exchange I will not go into that now because it's very detailed thank you very much you're welcome yeah it rocks Hi. Greetings, Dre. This is Roxanne. How are you? Good evening, or afternoon, or whatever it is on your planet. No it is worries. nice to meet you. It is, uh, let's say, most epic to meet you. Um, my question is, is your paradigm, your structure that was preconceived before you birthed yourself into what we call 3D reality, your civilization, what is the depth, if at all? The veiling from what you are, part of the eternal creator. Is there a separation that you guys are experiencing to journey, or was the veil not in place to play out that paradigm knowing you were part of all that is? That's yeah. my first question. That is a wonderful question because we do have a veil, as you do. Our paradigm is similar to yours in that way of spirituality, but we have gained access to parts of the realms just below what you would call the oversoul. That is what I'm reading from your minds, but I do not call it that. It is a different paradigm of perception for us. Is that the right way to say that? And you call it source? Source. Source. The creator is in our midst, yes and we do call on him often and it is with all creatures on our planet in different perceptions 
But there is a division. There is a, a place where you must go through. And death is part of our reality as well as it is part of yours. And so there we must move through these realms as different spiritual creatures. And we do not even claim to understand what it is like beyond there except what we hear from those that come from there and speak to us. However, there are many perceptions and many understandings of what it is, because I believe it would appear that when they move beyond the realm, they create their own existence in the way that they want, that is what they would consider perfection. Beautiful. The other question is then, since you do have a portion of the veiling in place, you would get what we would call, um, in our world, our reality, guides, uh, channels, much like you're being channeled right now, exactly. from communications with ones that have been through what you call your evolution in their own perspective to guide you. So that, that's in play as well. It is. And I can see that you have guides around you as well. We are perceiving of that energy which is not energy which you are always aware of. Hmm. But we can feel that energy and understand it. You have many of those who speak to you in many ways. I see that. Oh yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and so then I actually, I think that's it. This is most fascinating. That that was a, a pressing question for me because it's fascinating that you guys are here. And I think now in our connection, we can help, you know, different aspects of what we learned and what you learned. So we're becoming the teacher learners with each other. So, yeah. hey, thanks for coming in, man. That's a blast. I love you. <laughs> I, I love you as well in the sense that I relate to your thought processes in the sense that I relate to all three of your emotion, physical, and spiritual realms and all three levels. Thank Beautiful. You. Thank you. And you are very welcome. Is that the correct term? Yes, it is. Hello, this is Sabrina. Sabrina. Hello. Hi, how are you? I am, um, yes. Go ahead. I am fine. Okay. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Um, my question was, in terms of spirituality, um, do you have a message for us as a group? Yes. If I can connect to your spiritual brain portion. Ah, that is right. You are not divided in such a way. However, let your spirit... I know that you, many of you know what love and spirit, emotion, physicality, all the separations from these things are, and you bring them into one great human existence, whereas we can divide them slightly more than you can. We can access emotion separately from physical and spiritual. We can access physical separation from others. Do you understand that? That is the biggest difference between us. But when accessing the spiritual, you must find yourself in a great positive place, a great positive perception, because there is no end to perception, no end to spirit, no end to the thing that spirit can bring. And you may say, well, when I, when I experience spirit, there is emotion attached or there's physical things attached. We can experience spirit without the physical or the emotional and find ourselves in a true relationship with that who is spiritual with us in a very calm, logical way. More intellectual, but yet very, very simple way of connecting. 
it is complex, but the complexity boils down into very simple terms. And we are able to move from simple to complex spiritual activity within one thought process. So therefore, we see that within your evolution, this will be part of it. This will be the part that you will understand and separate as well when it becomes time. The emotions are wonderful and you can we can access them all at once if we wish. That is possible as well. But it would appear that the greatest spiritual advancing is that of pure spirit and then the love, the energy of that spirit you feel things within your body that cannot be felt in third dimension. And you would say, well, it's not that emotion or physical. When it is of spirit, it is of a different realm, and it does not include those of spiritual or emotion. But yes, it includes that of a physicality and emotion not connected with third dimension. So therefore, your perception of spirituality becomes a great deal more of an awareness and of a connection with the beings that are the creators of all the givers of knowledge and wisdom of what you call the angelic realm of what you call the realms of higher dimensions but yet still we cannot reach them just like you, without a great deal of help. But we can connect a little bit more closely in the sense that we can separate our spirituality from our emotions and physicality and move into a dimension above this one and experience that emotion and spirituality and physicality which is not connected to our brains and bodies. I hope that I explained that properly. I am new at this, so please forgive me if it was confusing. You did a great job. Thank you. Um, in terms of, of spirituality for your planet, um, once people started to wake up or become aware of their spirituality, um, like how long did it take before most of the planet was aware? It still took a while and the reason why is because there are three different species groups and one pulls its energy from the other just as you do on your planet. Your light from one another pulls you in certain directions. Your density as our density does pull us in certain dimensions b directions because we are also third dimensional you understand that correct yes and so it takes time for third dimension to become unified third dimension without telepathy as you know is diverse and therefore, unity does not come quickly. Even with great spirituality and division of spirituality from the body and the emotion, there are different perceptions of it, and some do not accept spirituality in a positive way, just as there are those that do not accept spirituality in a positive way on your planet as well. So therefore, this brings much division. Ah. Okay, so um, that brings me to my other question, that as a whole, uh, as a planet, like, what would be your message for us? Even though we are your twin world as far as appearance in some ways, 
with the blue, the atmosphere, the things of this nature that are very, very similar, we are still very different in some ways. And we are very the same in others. And we welcome this friendship because we feel that we can relate to you very well. So being that we are new to your perception and vice versa, we only are starting to contact you within the last 12 annuities. We are finding that you are compatible with us in many ways. Continue to move in the ways of spirit and bring your emotions to a higher realm. We see that you are going through the development of telepathic unity and some of you are going through empathic unities. Your psychic abilities are still at rest for 99.4% of the population. So therefore we wish that you continue on a smooth and upward path. We do see much destruction on your planet, much hatred, and much misunderstanding. And all of this is due to spiritual misguidance. Therefore, your perception of spirit is different in some ways. But we will help you with bringing that into a fuller and brighter existence. That is the way we can help you the most. Because our spirit is separate from the body and the emotion, we can more purely look upon your spirit and see how it is evolving. And therefore, we will try to separate it for you in the terms that it is on its own an experience and perception that needs no dilution. It is very diluted on your planet. And on our planet it is still diluted, but much less so, especially for those who have broken through and understand the purity of it. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. Um, it is understood in a way that makes spirituality separate from the body and the emotion, which is something that will come I see that there is one coming to your people who will bring this message in a greater way. Um, somebody wants to know about crystal technology in your planet, if you could speak a little bit about that. Crystal is purified on our planet. We purify the crystal to help with spiritual connections, of course, and with dimensional connections, of course. Also, when light is passed through crystals, it gives all the colors of the universe, which can be seen or cannot be seen, but they are all there. Do you understand this? And they each have their own power, and they each have their own uh, connection to spiritual perception. So color is important as long as well as sound vibrations and all those things that are unseen. Okay, so how do you use, do you use crystals for uh, energy balance? Crystals are used for many things, but they can be abused as well, just like anything. All things can be positive or negative. We charge them in a, neg a negative way and they will work in a negative way. You, the, you charge them in a positive way and they will work in a positive way. And the more pure the crystal, the greater the power that can be used with it. And so, yes, we do use crystals as you do in our grids. Our planet has grids just as yours does for power, energy, and vortexes for influence of energy on our world to keep it alive. 
we the energy of our father earth is great okay and uh, one last question how do you define God the, or, the, the essence of all purity love and the greater expectation of all living and unliving beings actually I should say spiritual beings because they are alive but not in the same way but God is the purity and the creation of all Sure. hello greetings greetings I uh, just want to invite you if you ever want to explore this planet you're welcome to communicate with me and any question that you want to ask would you like us to communicate in mind body or spirit or emotions does it matter um, my channel op um, I'm not really a channeler yet so in any way that I could uh, understand you maybe even physically if you can come here if it's possible and appropriate we were given permission to be in all aspects in this body that is why we ask for all other bodies to be in all aspects because we, we want to use different aspects of the personality, the physicality, the emotion and spirit and, and intellect to communicate with your people. We understand that there are different benefits to using the different aspects in any way that I could understand you and as long as it's positive you're welcome yes another member wants to know if humans could survive on your planet the atmosphere is more dense here but humans could probably survive if we thinned it out slightly you could survive here without any kind of assistance but it might be difficult because your lungs might be overwhelmed with the density so we are not quite sure we have not experimented with our atmospheres at this time but we will be doing that shortly we find that this kind of experimentation helps us to become more physically oriented to your planet. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Um, somebody else asked if our government has the awareness that there is life on your planet. Your government has awareness of 72 different species. We are not one but they are just finding us now they will be aware of us within months okay thank you anybody else have any more questions Sarah oh I was going to ask the others questions for them um, ah you but, have half or connections yes do you yes wonderful continue what can you tell me is there anything you can tell me about that on your planet the half whores were one of the first species that we came in contact with and therefore we learned much about our spirituality through their sound processes color and movement of of the they have a, a very interesting way of moving through their space and, and their existence and we learned much from that very good would you like to connect to me as well I would perfect I give permission gratitude thank you continue with your question uh, 
Um, well, I was going to ask some of the questions the others had, but uh, how about your children? How do is there uh, any hybridization with other planets or? We do not have a hybridization program. Our children are born the same way as your children. The just I am not sure of the word. The just gestation period is 11.2 months. Oh. oh, that's very close. Yes, very close. It is that we, it used to be longer, but evolution has moved it up slightly over time, as you call it. They, and we still do as well in many situations, we still use time as a guide. Yes. But, but yes, it has moved from about 12.4 months to 11.2 in the last several hundred years because the development has been quicker, is quicker, yes, faster, quicker. And so therefore it is, the child is fully produced within 11.2 months. Yes, I have a friend here as well. She wanted to know a bit more about your trinary language. She says she believes she may speak it. The trinary um, language is of those in the ocean, the, the species that connects themselves with the dolphins and whale species of Andromeda and Pleiades. Yes, they speak a trinary language, which is more than one word at the same time. They can speak several words at once, and so it was difficult for us. But they helped us to break it down one um, sound at a time, because sound, like Omni Hathorns, helped us as well. Because uh -huh. sound is able to be broken down into different vibrations, and therefore different words. And so we were able to translate their language within the last 20 of your kind of years and understand what they have been speaking to our planet about. Of course, we have the same problems of pollution and uh, different things in the oceans and airs, but we are working diligently to overcome that because it is a, a problem, and we have done much in the last several years. Beautiful. Thank you for that. You are welcome. Great attitude. Um, somebody had asked if you have your own language, and if, if, if so, if you could give us a sample. Could you speak our, it a little bit? This, this language of ours cannot be spoken by your people. Our larynxes and vocal cords are different and more sound oriented as well. And that is probably why the half oars were dragged to us first. They were the first species that we encountered because of the way we speak. Let me give you an example, if I can, through this being. One moment, I will have to adjust the way that things are translated. In the as well, and that is probably why the hot wars were... Is that a good enough example? Yes, thank yes. you. Thank you very much for that. 
gratitude. Uh, yes. You are welcome. I'm sorry. Wrong word. <laughs> it's okay. You are doing wonderful. Um, Translating uh, now into your language, the sounds that we make in our language is much easier because of the Hathors and because of the dolphin species and the understanding of the vibration of your voices as you come through as they speak through to to others is become much more understandable and we are very grateful to have been able to speak to you but we must now leave you there is some communications coming in from other areas that we must take and it is important that we let you go now to understand that you are of your own at this time, but we will be helping you with your future and with your endeavors to move forward in your telepathic search, which is quite honorable. We see that you are developing it now and that it will come to pass one day when the planet of yours is then in alignment with each other at least to the 90th percentage degree, there will be 10% that will be held back or perhaps 9%, they're saying now, 9% that will not accept it or will not have the ability to do the telepathic means that you are introducing. However, when it reaches that 90 percentile, your planet will be in a much greater peace and understanding. We wish you great health and love and great emotional positivity. We know that that is how you connect through spirit and emotion. And even part of your physicality goes out to one another in the sense that you connect in, in your spirit and in your emotions, but you feel it in an, a physical way. So yes, we understand that. And we grant you great connection to one another. We will move on now and come back to you at another time because there are things that need to be done here. There are great things happening. We understand your planet is under great stress as well. But not it is not dire at this time, but it could be if you do not rise Thank you. Thank you for your words. Thank you for coming here. And uh, we welcome to come back and speak to us again. And I hope it's nothing serious what's going on in your planet. Prai says, we welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. And if you can bring the next bin. Uh, Yeah, oh. We are Elohim. Shalom. Hello, it's she. Shalom, Pacham, yes. How are you? We are of a wonderful feeling and mm -hmm. a wonderful peace that we bring into the room with us. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Um, first of all, the prana process that I spoke with you about is now almost completed. The expansion of the Panelian gland. Yeah. <laughs> and I know that you're still doing certain things in my DNA, moving it around. Of course. 
<laughs> Do you know when I will be able to add a few more infusion? Do not worry about that right now. You have many infusions and they are all working together to become one now, to become useful in your system, to wake up those things that are necessary to be awakened, to mm -hmm. bring to you the insights that you need for now. So do not be excited about bringing anything else right at the moment. Let everything fuse and work together and bring, because let me explain to you, Elohim will bring a different energy and a different movement within you, a different coming together of the different elements of these different species. It will bring together a different energy of enlightenment. It will not change the DNA of any of these species but bring out their most positive aspects. Mm, okay. Um, At least for you. It works on an individual basis, of course. Mm -hmm. It would be more individual for each person. It would bring out those greatest aspects that are necessary for those people. I see. And for you, it will bring out your channeling. It will bring out your wow. being telepathic. It will bring out empathy to some extent. You are not great a great empath right now, but your empathy will increase. I see. Um, one last thing, and I will let Ado speak. If there's any messages from you about uh, my channeling course that I'm going to take on September. Move forward in any way that you can to enlighten yourself, to bring knowledge to yourself, but Remember this, only take into you what resonates with you from these classes because everyone is able to channel but not all in the same way. So therefore when you are channeling, remember whenever these informations come to you to bring into you those that resonate with you and those that will work with you in the greatest way because that is being true to yourself and bringing the greatest message across in the greatest purity. If you accept some of these other ways, perhaps you are a conscious channeler, a semi-conscious channeler, or a trans channeler, whichever one of those resonates with you, do not force another kind of channeling because that would not be the pure way to do it. There are those that can do all ways and there's those that can only do one. But accept that which is given to you and be thankful for it and use it in the purest form possible. Thank you. Much love. Namaste and blessings to you. Maria? Hi. Hello. Much love. And to you. Thank you. Uh, I'm recently told that I am in contact with you and I'm speaking your language. Yes. And I am looking forward to get the DNA infusion as well. It shall be so, but not quite yet. Yes. Is there any messages for me? Yes. When you speak the Elohim language, there is always a message in it. Always. There are never just empty words when the Elohim language comes to you. So therefore, when you speak it, Speak it with great reverence, speak it with great respect and draw into yourself the understanding that there is a message for you if there are not others around. If there are others around it may be for someone else, but if you are alone speaking the language we are speaking directly to you and there is a message there for you and it will go into your spirit and it will enlighten you, it will go into your subconscious 
and you can bring it back out at a later time. But I want you to know that we do not speak empty words ever. Yes. May I ask a question about um, Elohe? What dimension y'all are from? Y'all. Or what realm? Oh. Um. The dimension is just under God. But I do not know what, there is not a number to it. It is not yes. numbered. It yes, is a I dimension understand. of very little physicality and great spirituality and of purifying and great intention. I do not know what to call it as far as a dimension. So there is no individuality at all. It's like a big collective. That is not quite so. We each do have our own flame from God, but we unite together to be a sun of flame. We want to be that way. We enjoy the, the community that we are, but we can become individuals and do our own meditations for whatever reasons. If someone should separate from uh, the community, it is accepted because we know that there is a purpose for that because God has told them to do so, or there is a message for someone, just, if I, just as I have separated from the Elohim, to speak to you. But we are all together. So, sorry if I'm asking this question, because I'm trying to understand better. So, you all have, like, families the way we have in third dimension, or no? That no. doesn't even... No, not at all. We are of spirit, and we do not procreate. Oh, okay. But we are of great love and understanding and purity, and we feel the essence of love from God, and there is nothing greater and nothing more satisfying than that. Thank you. Yes. There are some of us that are now Elohim that have lived in other dimensions, but have decided that this is where we want to be at least for now. And there are some of us in our community of beauty and love that will leave and enter some other communities or go back and relive a, a life. It is our will. Free will still exists here. There is nothing to take free will away. In every existence, even the angels have free will, but they choose to be who they are. They choose to do the jobs they do. Just as you choose to be the way you are and choose the way that you want to live your life because obviously it, it's you who have decided your destinations, your, your, the way that you are to live. Even if you are in pain or if you are suffering, you have decided it in many cases. Does the Creator have a counterpart? Does the Creator have a counterpart was the question. And that is yes and no. And let me answer that th this way. Your perception of the Creator has many faces. God the Creator has a billion eternal faces. And if you look at one and you see a bright smiling face and you look at another and the faces change because the eyes are like suns or if you look at another and the smile is radiating gold light, whatever, his face can look different to each of you. And there's no counting how many of their, them you are in the universe. Because why? Because he keeps creating, and there are more births, millions every second. So how can you calculate that? But he can. Did that under? Did that answer your question? There are no other creators. There n of his magnitude. He can divide himself. 
and they can have the same magnitude. And many believe that there are several creators of the same magnitude in different universes. But of course, it's just an outreach of the same creator. Ah. Okay. <sighs> yes? Continue. Hello? Hello? Hi, my name's Chris. Yes. Hello. Um, I have a few questions, but I'm not sure if you'll be able to answer the ones that I have. <clears throat> I know you can answer one. Um, do you answer questions about hybrid genetics, or should I skip that one? About what? Hybrid genetics in, human, in humans? We are involved in it, so we can answer to a certain extent. We know about how we work with the DNA of human beings, and we know how the alliance of Gurkhtfiknir works with DNA, and we know how there are a few other um, species that we are aware of that have hybridization programs. So if you have a question about that, we may be able to answer it. Great, thank you. That's perfect. Um, I feel that I know my hybrid genetics to a large extent, and I feel that I can read them um, in other people, and I'm obsessed with this. Um, if you have anything to say about that um, and my connection with that, as well as my connection to you, as I've been told that you've been around me by another channel, or Elohim, that is. Yes. Let me explain your curiosity and your obsession with it. it. Is because you are one that has many different hybridizations. Have you detected that? Yeah, definitely. Yes. And you're able to see other people's hybridizations because you want them to be aware of the place in the universe that they are part of. And you can do that because you know about each of the hybridizations and what their properties are in each individual. Is that correct? Yes, the attributes, personalities, and structure. Then more power to you. I have nothing more to add because you have the knowledge and it is not something that is wasteful or unimportant. Continue okay. with your work. And then I have a question around that. Um, well. I have to separate them, unfortunately, for the program here. Um, do you have any, well, that's not right, correct wording. Um, I've had a dream, um, a couple of dreams, where um, ex-President Bush, the first, um, do you know anything about my association with these dreams? Yes, he is an alien. Okay. And or has many alien properties, I should say, because he is in a human body and he will remain in a human body for the rest of his life. And he is has much alien properties as you already suspected, and that is why you are aware of him so greatly is because he did have much uh he did speak to aliens many times during his presidency. So we have a lot in common in that way. I'm just not a president. Correct. Okay, great. I'll keep the rest to myself. Thank you so much. You are oh, welcome. Unless, unless you'd like to tell me why you've been around me. <laughs> the Elohim, that is. The Elohim is around you because we are guiding you in some of your efforts to move forward in this telepathic realm. You see, your obsession with the different species is slowing down your telepathic process a little bit. Mm -hmm. But we're just helping that move forward as well. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sarah. Hello. This is Sarah. How are you? Sarah, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, the first question is, do I have any Elohim in my DNA? No. Not yet, but if you would like some, it can be worked out, I believe. Very well, yes. The second one, I've been having many visions of um, 
different visions, different categories, different situations. But the one that keeps coming up to me, there's a vision of a wall. The sky is an orangey-yellow type. Uh, there are people in front of it sort of looking like a lighter brown color, um, curly hair, and there's foliage on the wall. But I can see both sides of the wall, and it's just sitting there. And it looks like the people are comfortable sitting there. And for some reason, I put it close to, well, I just integrated the energy of Gilgamesh. Yes. And I'm thinking maybe that has something to do with it, but I, I don't know the importance of this wall, but it keeps popping up in my mind. Understood. Let me explain something to you first before I go into an, an interpretation of the wall, because it could have more than one interpretation especially for you. For most people it would have one interpretation. For you it has more than one. Let me tell you why. You've entered more than one spiritual realm recently. There is more than one spiritual guide working with you at the same time. You are a person of great spirituality and prayer and meditation and so therefore they're giving you different visions. You've seen both sides of the wall, correct? I've only seen one side. But you will see both sides. But let me tell you why you will see both sides of the wall. The, this wall is to come down. This wall is your separation from life and death. You are at the brink where the realm is at times. Not many people can reach this place. Do you understand that? Uh. Okay, why can't people reach it? Because they are not attuned to it like you are. You are attuned by many different ways. Sound vibration, light vibration, music vibration, which is also sound, but it has a different, a different quality than just regular sound vibration. You understand these things? Yes. You have an intermittent you have the abilities to move through objects which you are not aware of yet or they move through you actually mm. that is not yet to be seen but you have reached the place the realm the 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 door unto the next realm and that is what you see and that is the meaning of your wall but you cannot go beyond it right now um, what is the significance, because you said many people have been contacting me, yes, and that is true, um, uh, beings more like, <laughs> yeah. um, but am I channeling them or am I just integrating them or is it like, oh Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are bringing them in you are becoming part of them. They are moving through you. I have told you, you can move through. They move through you. You move through them. You are part of a spiritual realm. When you connect to them, it is a different world entirely. And you are actually living in two different worlds at times. Oh. Uh, one more question, because this came up during an integration. The other people who were in the hangout said they saw like a hundred people walking <laughs> in one direction. They were welcoming me. Yes. Who were those people? I cannot tell you right now. I do know who they are, but it is not for you to know yet. Okay. Thank you. Just continue on your path. Your spiritual progress is enormous. You are able to do things that many cannot. You are able to be aware of many things that people cannot be aware of. And so move and keep some of it to yourself because you know what secret parts of you that will come out later and continue to move in your sound color and spirituality in a great way. You have connected to so many different realms I am so very proud of you as a human being that you are able to do this. Continue to move forward. Thank you. Much love to you. You're welcome.
Johannes. Hello, my name is Johannes. I hope I can be heard. On my computer is still some problems with. I can hear so, uh, you. Yeah, you can hear me. Yes. Yes. That's great. Uh, I have four questions. First question is uh, uh, Martina, my roommate. She had a visitation two uh, two nights ago. She wants to know who that was and or who they were because it wasn't so pleasant for her. Um, so we can start with that question first, maybe. It was Angel Gahil. Angel Gahil Angel visited Gahil. her just recently with a blessing because there is something that she has been praying about and he wanted to comfort her. Hello? Now I cannot hear you. Yeah, so uh, th thanks for that. The uh, second question is, my grandmother has a lot of nightmares, she says, and she wants to know why. One moment, please. Let me connect to her through you. Think of her and where she is at. Ah, there is a, a, an unkind... Is, is she new to this place? To this place, she's here with me now. She's actually visiting visiting me in my country where I live now. So she is right here with me. Is so. she still <laughs> having nightmares when she's with you? Yes, one night she said. There is someone that is taunting her. We, there is someone that wants her to have discomfort in some way. I will look into it and get back to you on that because that is a spiritual matter. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I just want to know if um, I should cut my balls out of my dog. That's all I need to know. If that's okay for me to cut my ball, uh, cut the balls out of my dog. Oh, I understand. We, not having sexuality, it took us a moment to reference that. So, um, is it that he is promiscuous as a dog? He's very aggressive to other male dogs, very, very aggressive. I see. Um, one moment, please. It is fine to have him neutered because it is not part of his destiny to have children. That is all. Roxanne? About the dog. Come here. One, one moment about the dog. It will calm him down. It will make him less aggressive, and that is the main function here, is to make him less aggressive. The testosterone, we are looking into that. You see, balls, as you call them, have no significance for us, but they may have significance for humans and animals. But in this case, they do not. So it is appropriate that you uh, have them removed. Can I go now, Sabrina? That is fine. Thank you very much. Yes. Hi, um, I have a question for a friend that's watching on YouTube. Uh, she has a great connect. She has a great connection towards Abraham, as in the Abraham Hicks uh, Oversoul, and she was wondering the origins of Abraham. Was her question? So I'm not sure how you can answer that, but you know. I Abraham is who he is. He has had many lives in many different cultures and species, but he is a great positive worker. He changes how people think. He is a wonderful spirit. That I must say first of all. He he's from an area of spirit that is all about 
creating a reality that is worthwhile and is spiritual yet also enjoyable and he was he was a created being i believe i do not see a birth for him mm. but a creator he was a creation beautiful hmm. ah yes and so collectives sometimes are not born yes they are created the created right yes i love that about him that he has gone out and become an entity that is spreading joy love understanding and wisdom about about the he loves humanity by the way i must say he loves humanity he can take anyone's negativity turn it to positivity in a way that is individualized for that person and that is so beautiful what a great and wonderful power yes a great worker he is most certainly i love him dear <laughs> um and a personal question um i don't dream much but i got a real epic dream the other day and i'm having some difficulties yeah i was let's say on a ship in the what you call the deck where the captain is and it's all happening and it was flooded and we were all waist high and there were entities around us we were trying to uh, well okay there were smaller ships what i would call models that were floating on the water that why we were in a ship that was looks like it was going under as well and i was took my own initiative and i grabbed these large ships that were models um kind of like you know i guess one third scale would be accurate and i was moving them on the water to rescue them and the other people in the room were telling me um they were watching me but i felt their discomfort from my actions and i had no thought i was just action, acting to save these entities that were on this little tiny ships to move them into safety and then they said well there's some have died uh, from your actions but that's okay they'll be okay and then we were trying to get out of the ship that was drowning itself so there was water i was saving people that were on ships that were in the big ship that was drowning and i'm lost on this one <laughs> oh do not be lost the big ship is the planet earth the big ship is the whole earth that is flooded with thoughts and dreams and different ways you will not die even though it feels like the earth is drowning in its own suffering it's drowning in its own doubts fears and hatreds and violences you are on the planet earth and so you're up to your waist in it but <laughs> you are saving those that are moving across floating across mother earth in the sense that their spirits have been enlightened and so even though some may have died they've gone to spirit and even though some may have uh, suffered that are in the earth because of something that you have done it is a third dim that is your perception of third dimension do you understand that yes the waste high water is your dimension that you are living in and the salvation of those spirits and beings on the ships that you are working with is helping the earth and you will not die it will not flood you will find a way to help those that are floating on the water and many more ships will appear for you because you are a great guide you have great wisdom and understanding and your purpose is to save those on the ship yay is that love that worry about the waste high humanity that you live in the negativity the water that is coming up you will overcome all that because you are doing what is resonating with who you are oh yes beautiful does that make sense you know oh that makes so much sense it put all the pieces in the place now i see very beautiful good. thank you i love you i love you as well Hello, Hello. This is Sabrina. I have a question from Liney. 
Um, she yeah. wanted to she wanted to send her love, and she also wanted to know how her DNA infusion was going. Excellent. She is done with it. Okay. It is marvelous. You should start to feel liney, liney, liney. I know that you are very third dimensional in your activities. Day to day you must be because of your children and many things. And William has the orb, by the way. Oh, yes, you knew that. But anyway, um, it is now fully activated. And you will see some differences now. You will see some differences now. And you've already seen some differences. And there is some maturity coming to that, some grounding and some questions coming for you from this young man. But um, there is so much beauty in your soul. Do you feel the lightness? Ask her if she can feel that lightness of the Elohim now because it should reach up to her brain very shortly and into her heart and soul and uh, overcome many of these things that she was wondering about. Give her the clarity of mind to move forward. You are a great gift. Do not, I know that you find yourself wanting, me a great gift? I, I can't find it. I don't know. It's, it's so third dimensional right now. Do not doubt yourself. Remember what they said earlier about fear and doubt, great destroyers. So don't have it, don't let that fear and doubt destroy anything that is good that is going to happen to you. Just let it go and thank God now for the things that are coming to you because I see some outpouring now. I see some things that are going to happen now. It may not be this second or tomorrow or next week, but there are things coming for you that are of a great, beautiful, and wonderful positivity. So thank God for that ahead of time. Thank God ahead for your prosperity, for your goodness, for all these things. Even though you don't see it in yourself, this is a message for everybody, by the way. Bring in all the good and love that you can. Thank God ahead of time. Thank anyone that is helping you ahead of time. Because with great appreciation and gratitude comes great help. Because if someone says thank you to you personally, are you not willing to help them again? Isn't that something that yes. we all feel in our side? Well, they said thank you. I, I, I'm most humbled by that. And not that the Spirit needs to hear your thank yous. That is not it. He is not wanting you to say thank you, but he realizes what kind of a person you are when you give great thanks. And when you give prayer and honor, he comes. And with great doubt and fear, it is hard for him to get through. But if you give great praise and great positivity, of course, He's going to be coming to you right oh, he, when you need him. When you need him. Of course. <clears throat> Hi, uh, I have a question about what is my mission in my life right now, and I feel close to Archangel and all the, all the prophet. And uh, I want to just uh, the message for me. What is that? My my purpose is not to tell you what to do in the sense that of job and purpose and things of this nature. My job is to tell you how to be more spiritual and how to guide your life into these things that are meant for you, your destiny, your roads, your path in life. But I see that you do have a spiritual path. I can do tell you that, that there are things about you that are in a spiritual path. But you have a third dimensional life. I cannot really rule that. If that is up to you to bring upon yourself those things of third dimension that are, that are yours. And that is not for me to say because you have free will. And I'm not going to say, oh, you must be a doctor or a lawyer. Or a no, it's not for me to do that. It's for me to say, bring up your spirit and your spirit when you resonate with it and your meditations when you go and intend them will bring you the truth of who you are in the third dimension. Does that make sense to you? Yes, thank you. You are so welcome, and I love your spirit. 
I just want to jump in. It's Elena. Yes. Let me invite the Elohim infusion as I do not recall having a contact with you until now. Ah, that is not a problem. We will be in contact with you. Much love. Much love. Thank you. There's someone in the room here that has a question. I have motioned them over with the hands. Hi, yes. I'm Barbara. Hi, Barbara. I have a question. Do you have any information or anything that I need to know about my spiritual growth or anything else in my life? Yes, I do. Um, I see that there is many third dimensional things happening to you. Health and spirituality and friends and, and disconnects. There's some disconnections here that I see. And what I see is there is also fear and doubt in you. Oh, yeah. And so what is... You need a healing of a very great nature. And with this healing will come a mental change. But you're doubting that this healing can ever possibly happen. But it can. But it's up to you. You see, you are the guide for that healing. Because one of the lessons that you are to learn is appreciation after the healing of what you, what you went through and what message it has given you in this lifetime that you can share with others. You can share with others and make them more aware of their lifetime here in the third dimension, how it can be greater and more spiritual. Because you do have a great spiritual connection. When you do your meditations, you come into a great connection. They're not always, but it's many times. And do this intention that your abilities, that your message, that your healing is complete. Do an intended, and do not doubt. And reach into the, the triangle of the soul, the, heart, the third eye, the heart, and the spirit. Bring them together in a powerful triangle and move in that power because there is power there. There is power with that triangle. The fire, gold, green, and indigo, a great, great power. And I, have, I have another question too. It's like I had a reading by a um, um, psychic or whatever. Yes. And she said that when Jesus was here that I was a child that he protected. Is that true? Yes. Oh. oh. Can someone help me? So that is true that I was a child that he protected, protected that I walked with him? Yes. Okay. One of the many children. I will just hold it. And then another question, one more question is, how do I get DNA from... Yeah. He requested. Yeah, requested. The request, they will, uh, let me... If those of you that want Elohim DNA, you must request it. And then we will come and do, a, we will look at your body and see if it is uh, able to come into you. It is able to come into most bodies, but it is not necessary for all bodies. And it is not for all bodies. Even if you can take it, there are some bodies that will not, that it is not supposed to come to. But do request it. Do request it. And we will check that out. Okay. I think that this will stay. <laughs> Can everyone hear me? A bit far. I think maybe it's time to leave. It was most wonderful talking okay. to you very much. And I love you all very much. Can you hear? Yes. We love yes. you as well. Much love, and I will talk to you some other day. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for coming and answering your questions. Much love. Much love. Can you give a blessing before you go? Ah, uh, yes. A blessing would be wonderful. One moment. 
Let me connect to the community because we will give this together. We wish you love, goodness, greatness, and a wonderful rising experience into your telepathic existence. We ask that the Spirit be with you and you with the Spirit. Connect yourself, fuse yourself, to the spirit. I know sometimes third dimension can bog you down and you say, oh, I'm so tired of hearing about spirit and love and these things. But without them, your life would be so sad. So remember to connect with them in the way that resonates with you the greatest. And we will send our love, healing, and understanding to you. I would love for you to feel what it feels like in my community. The great love, the great connection, the great intensity of love and joy that we have. I wish that upon you. We wish that upon you. And we are so grateful that we can communicate now with you in this special way that so many can hear us on your planet. And much love to you much gratitude to you and continue to rise. We love you all and we'll be with you all. Amen. 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 Thank you. Ah. That was really good. Hello. Oh. Hello, Hello Jim. Jim. Hi, Jim. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Jim. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I see my uh, I see my microphone fell off. <laughs> yes, it fell off. So, but it was at the end, so it's no problem. Oh, very good. How's everybody doing? Doing great. good. You're a do, rock star, do, Jim. Do you know, okay. Yeah, I feel great. Did you get your questions answered? Yeah, I think everybody pretty much got their questions answered. There's always, you know, questions that don't get answered, but there's only so much time. So All right. I do apologize for those that don't get to. All righty then. Yes. Somebody want to say a closing prayer? Okay. I will do it. So the... Yes. I think that they, they're saying, Sabrina, you, go ahead, Sabrina. Okay. Anusi hi tolanu eyu istaru na nusatu. Tonali yo sanari o tu kuatata ni yo alana sutu alani o sati o kwa nari o lasi o tu nuarati ne suarana kuata kiasu ori anari o kuata kiasa. Tes coruana tosio tio aliona su es tu orana tu sacantio tasio rutu e sa. Yes. 
we celebrate the great creator, God, the infinite one, mother, father of all of us, in a very soft and gracious way, in a powerful understanding that he, she is with us always, that he, she is with us in our darkest times and in our lightest times and will continue to be there. We bow down. We prostrate ourselves, straight ourselves for His glory. But it is not even necessary to do that. But it is that we are humble before Him yes. her, and we want Him. Please take these words that we give you into your heart so that you might be blessed by the one Creator, the one God. And know that He, She loves you with all of her being. Thank you, Jim. Namaste. Hey! hey. I want to invite, invite all, all of you to lunch. lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll just take the computer with us and you can sit there with us at Yay! lunch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> we can continue the discussion. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes. They're used to us at the restaurant now because we go down there and we talk about aliens and metaphysical stuff. We're all excited. <laughs> and the waitresses are like, oh, it's them again. Oh, here, uh, here, here, sit over here away from everybody else. So, uh, <laughs> that's yeah, funny. It's that it's not that. people. <laughs> A lot of the same people were there, so they know who we are now, sort of. It's like there's a, um, a little old man in a wheelchair, and he says, my wife's a Reiki master, because sometimes she, we talk about Reiki, and he, we, so this little old guy joins in with us every now and there and says, my wife's a Reiki master, and but that's about the only thing he ever says, isn't it? He tells us every time we're there. But anyway, um, it's and really they, cool. We have a good time. And do they say, here come the aliens? Yes, here <laughs> they come. Here they come. Here we are. So... Anyway, so have a wonderful day, everybody. Love and peace. It was wonderful to be with you, and I know that there was a lot of things said. I'll have to look at the video <laughs> and see. But um, I hope you had a good time and that your messages were answered, that messages were given or whatever. Can't talk. Questions were answered. Yes. That was beautiful. Yes. Uh, we oh, will let that uh, close. But. We're going to let Guru Dan uh, say the last words and then we will stop the broadcast. Yeah, just, oh, like okay. to say, um, just like to say thank you for watching Hukalo TV. It uh, can be located at uh, www.humancolony.org. You can find the events listed on the uh, Human Colony website and on Google Plus and the chat boxes inside Google Plus for all the webinars and things that are uh, available there. Uh, Jim is available for sessions. Uh, please contact him at the website. His uh, email address is provided there. And also, again, um, the website is run on donations. Any that can give, please do. And that donation information is available on the website as well. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. I love you much. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you, Guru Dan. Thank you, Sabrina. You're Thank welcome. You Thank help. you, everybody. That came. Thank you to the viewers. 31 viewers today. Oh, Booyah. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.